All right, guys, we're live. That's right. Welcome to our channel. Thanks for signing in. We're going to have some doggone fun today. I would like to say happy Easter to everyone and welcome you all to our first live video podcast, Coffee Dogs and Curiosities, your weekly alternative CDC discussing important topics and non-essential curiosities. I'm your host, Chris Perandi, along with Sue Perandi. Hi, guys. <laughs> we also have our co-host with us today, none other than Abby Klein. Hey, everyone, say hi to Abby. Hi. I'm just here in hot, hot Florida. 97 degrees today. That's awful. That is horrible. Goodness gracious, that's too hot. That's terrible. All right. Well, we're going to get to Abby here in a second. She's got a performance she's going to be showing us here today. It was too hot, so it won't be live, but she's got an awesome video that she sent in, and I can't wait to show it to you guys. So uh, we're going to get right to this. We're going to have some fun today. I hope uh, you guys are enjoying your Sunday afternoon, your Easter Sunday. Let us know in the channel where you're uh, signing in from. We'd love to hear where you're coming from and um, how many dogs you have, too. Of course, uh, this show is going to be about our dogs, but also going to be about more. I'm going to talk about that in a second. But first, I want to introduce um, who we are and uh, what we do. And Sue is going to talk a little bit. I'm going to show you up, show you guys some photos. I'm going to throw some photos up on the screen so you can get an idea of what we do uh, for a living for some of you that aren't aware. Um, we're currently out of work. We're actually not working right now. So um, uh, but when we are working, this is what we do. Go ahead and tell them, Sue. That's right. Well, for those of you that don't know who we are, Chris and Suhei Parandi, we own Stunt Dog Productions, and we actually travel the whole country performing with our dogs. We have a group of 13 dogs right now, and we have two different shows. The Stunt Dog Experience is our theatrical production, so we do that um, at theme parks and performing arts theaters. And we have our All-Star Stunt Dogs show, which is more of an outdoor venue type show. Uh, we do that at sporting events, fairs, pet expos, all kinds of different events. And uh, our dogs do a lot of fun things like agility. They do awesome tricks. They do high jumping. They jump rope. Uh, what else? They, they, just, they have fun on stage and uh, all rescues it. and we entertain audiences. And what's, what's really unique about our dogs, too, is the fact that they're all rescue dogs. They're all from pounds and shelters. And, of course, uh, we always train using positive reinforcement. We use toys and treats to motivate. And bottom line, they're just, they're just having fun. They're playing and having a good time. What else, what else can people see in our shows? I mean, obviously, we got some flying disc catching dogs. That's Vinny Valentino there. He's the one on the cover of our new book that uh, we'll, we'll mention here in a minute. Oh, I mean, I mentioned agility, right? Yeah, high there's jumping. There's yeah. Uh, some dogs weaving through the poles. Uh, um, high jumping. We have dogs that jump up to 56, 58 inches over a bar. Um, and we've had them go way higher over the years, too. Yeah. It just depends on the dog's capability. So we never want to, like, overdo it, you know, make sure that they're they're doing it with their capability and not, not hurting themselves right. in any way. And, of course, we've got lots of padding for nice, safe landings for all these guys, too, when they're doing their cool stunts and tricks. Uh, we do uh, some venues. We also do dog diving. Uh, what else do we do? Uh, frisbee, of course. You do all the frisbee. I'm not a frisbee. No, person. not not just me. Abby, Abby does a lot of frisbee well, too. We have, obviously, we have different team. We got a mascot in the show too for our theater productions, our performing arts centers. Um, uh, there's Abby's little dog. That's Cricket. Cricket's awesome. We love Cricket. Best. I don't think we're going to see cricket today, but uh, we are going to we are going to see her in, in the coming weeks here um, is the plan. So anyway, there, there's Abby showing off her free stuff like this. She's a big star. Uh, so, yeah, guys, this is our live show. So what we do, we travel all over the United States, uh, coast to coast. Um, we've produced over 10,000 live shows since the creation of my show, uh, which started back in 1999. Um, last year was our 20th anniversary year. And uh, we're just uh, on hiatus right now due to this whole pandemic. So I thought we'd uh, start doing a little fun uh, video podcast. So anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for uh, for tuning in with us here today because uh, we got some fun stuff to talk about and some fun stuff uh, to show you as well. Um, you can go to our website if you want to see some more information on our show. Our website is stuntdogshow.com. Uh, I'll put up a, a link there, a ticker down at the bottom right there. You can get some information on our show right there. But uh, we're actually going to be uh, going over to Abby here in just a second. Abby's going to show us a performance with her dogs. 
Um, and I think you guys are going to be pretty impressed with that. Um, but you might be asking, what's up with this page name um, and this video co podcast? Well, since uh, we're out of work for the time being, and we all have our coffee. Yes, I do have my coffee here. Let's show them we, we got our coffee. I hope you guys drink some coffee with us today or are drinking something tasty. But mm, you got to have your coffee every day. But um, we love our coffee. We also love our dogs. And we're always curious about things. Um, so we thought we'd just put together a fun podcast um, so everyone can get to know us a little bit better while Earth is currently on lockdown. On hold. On hold. Yeah, everything's <laughs> on hold at the moment. So, all right. Hey, get moving. Let's let's go over to Abby. I know uh, she's super excited to introduce herself a little bit more. Oh, oh my Hi. gosh. Hey, what is going on? Are, are you... I'm just trying to stay safe I here don't... in Florida. Are I... you a Chernobyl? <laughs> We are six feet apart. We're okay. I think we're all right. We're actually, actually, by the way, I'm chiming in from, Sue and I are chiming in from California. Abby here is uh, chiming in from, uh, where are you at, Abby? Florida. Tampa, Florida. Yeah, she's coming in from the sunny skies and empty beaches of uh, <laughs> Tampa, uh, Tampa, Florida. So, yeah. So empty. Yeah. Just well. like my soul. <laughs> Hey, so Abby, tell why don't you share with everyone how we met and uh, how long we've been working together and uh, how you've kind of fit into the whole magic that, that we do. Well, funny enough, Chris, we talked about this earlier and you have no idea how I even found you. So yeah, I kind of have an idea how, how I, I kind of go ahead. You, 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 oh, this is what year 11? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. I feel like I've known you my whole life now. That's what it is. I know 11 years. And you're like, how did we meet? And I'm like, oh, okay. I see where I rank here. Yeah. All right. That's fine. I actually heard about you from Josh Grinnell and Rue Yori in Minnesota when I was part of the Minnesota Disc Dog Club. Yeah. And I had I remember two that. dogs. Three? Maybe three dogs. Three dogs. And I competed in Frisbee competitions. And Zach George had just left your show to yep. pursue uh, Super Fetch, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. And uh, so you needed an assistant and I emailed you and I sent you some YouTube videos of my dogs and you hired me to do three fairs. One in Wisconsin, one in Minnesota and one in Colorado. And then I worked from there ever since. ever since. Yeah. And, and I think it probably took a few years before we started keeping you real busy. It, you know, you were just doing some stuff on the like side your, at first. Your, I was the third unit. I was yeah. your like yeah. third. Like I I did like three You got the leftovers. Really. We gave we gave you the leftovers. Yeah, yeah, I got the, the yeah. dirt fairs nobody else wanted to do. The dumpster fairs. <laughs> and you made the magic happen, Adam. It's true. Most I really of them really wanted did. you back and, and and you're like for example, you're at Bakersfield every year at the Kern County Fair. Those guys love you. They do love you me. Know. It's true. Yeah. Awesome. I have a likable personality look at this face it, it's a beautiful face abby it, it it is look at that the hair is amazing too mm -hmm. that's know. an incredible you hairstyle that hair. you know i want you to know that i didn't do the hair for this today i did my hair because laura and jason are selling some t-shirts and they needed a model so i straightened my hair today for that i see well we're just lucky enough to get you on a day when you, your hair is looking Nice. Pretty nice. Yeah, That's like true. It. Thank you. All right. So, hey, we're going to talk a little bit about the show, what's happening here today. Um, each week, we're going to talk about dogs, right? Uh, we're going to show off our dog's talents. We're going to offer training tips, uh, talk yeah. about funny things dogs do, maybe answer yes. some questions or two from, from our audience members. So if you guys got any questions, anything you'd like, like to ask, send it in the comment channel right now. I might pop it up on the screen. For example, I got uh, my good friend Mark Galbraith uh, on right now. Thanks for signing in, Mark. Mark and I used to work together when I used to... Uh, be in the computer business uh, when you uh, had a real job when i had a yeah exactly mark's awesome he's an amazing uh, amazing guy and uh very talented uh guy coming in from redmond washington he moved all the way up there and and uh they have a couple dogs too he says so great good to have you with us mark thanks for uh thanks for joining us um so uh basically back to uh what we're doing here in the show on um, bottom lines we're gonna hope to give you guys some joy some in inspiration educate you guys maybe entertain you a little bit and i'm sure our curiosities are gonna be funny they're gonna be silly and of course, they're going to be a little bit serious as well. Um, but uh, our plan is to go live two times a week during this pandemic, uh, two o'clock Pacific, five o'clock Eastern on Sundays and Thursdays. Uh, that is the plan. So thanks for signing in to our first one. Um, I do want to say I was inspired to do this uh, video podcast by my good friend and co-author Larry K, which I'm actually on his page every uh, Monday. You guys can uh, check it out uh, if you want. It's called Dog Hugs. Um, so make sure you check that out Positively. and it's on his positively wolf page. Um, and, um, I'm going to actually, 
uh, pop that up on the screen here if I can. I'm going to be on there on Tuesday, but he said I'm not supposed to swear. Okay. 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 Good luck with that, right? Well, you haven't yeah. yet here, so that's yeah. great. Hey, so I've been doing good. So far, so You're good. just really good. I'm trying real hard. So here's here's a look at uh, Larry's Positively Wolf page on Facebook. He's Go like his page now if you can. Um, it, it's uh, it's it's a fun page. Uh, they have contests all the time, photo contests and stuff. And they he goes live every day Monday through Friday at twelve o'clock noon uh, Pacific. And um, I'm on it every Monday. Abby's going to be on it on Tuesday. Not uh, every Tuesday. Not every Tuesday, just this Tuesday. So make sure you guys sign into his page this Tuesday for sure, and check out Abby. Sign in, see us tomorrow there at twelve noon. Um, he's got two million followers. Um, so join in on the positive wolf dog hugs fun um, on his page there. So I popped it up on the screen there. So make sure you like that page. Awesome. So that's just one thing I wanted Abby. to give a shout out to. And yes, we got some puppies in the background there with Abby. Um, and Abby going to do a little performance. Um, well, or not live. We're going to show a video. I'm going to get this queued up here. Tell while I'm queuing it up, Abby, um, give me an idea what we're about to see here. All right. So the video you're going to see today is my double dog tricks that I've been working on with my wiener and Blanche, who is okay. uh, everybody's favorite golden girl because she's the slutty one. Everybody loves the slutty golden girl. So <laughs> Blanche and the wiener. Uh -huh. I've been working on doing double dog tricks with them, trying to figure out new tricks or just like things they can do at the same time together. And so I posted this video a couple days ago um of just the stuff that these two have been working on and they're a pretty good team together they get along really well and they like um, it almost seems like blanche likes to perform better with another dog than she does alone unless it's frisbee because she loves to play frisbee by herself but as far as tricks go she kind of prefers to do it while another dog is present so cool. that's, the, that's the video you guys are going to see it's pretty it's pretty cute all right you guys ready to watch it here goes here goes That was adorable. I loved I it. Know. And was there was awesome. a wiener in a hole. Like, how can you not think a wiener in a hole is adorable? <laughs> that was Blanche and the brown wiener. You spelled Blanche's name wrong. Oh, wait. Wrong. It's not a. She's red. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Red. Oui. She's red? That, I told you. Okay. Okay. She's yeah, red. we were discussing. We we're trying to discuss. I was going to fix and put reddish brown wiener. I looks brown to me. I, I don't mean, know. What do you guys think? Is, wait, is, wait, 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 is this wait, wiener wait. brown or red? I mean, this dog is brown. No, that dog's red. Uh, that dog's red and the dog wiener's brown. brown. Come is, on. He can't see very well. He's not wearing his glasses right now. Oh, I can right see now. colors just fine. I color blind. Come on. Now, I want to know what everybody else thinks. The dog on the left is red and white, and the dog on the right is brown. And that's Wiener. That's the Wee Wee. Wee Wee, a.k.a. Wee Wee, three years old, adopted from All About Rescue and Fixing, A-A-R-F, from Tennessee. Yeah. Right? She was found just wandering the streets. And look at her now. She's a professional stunt dog. She's adorable. She is so talented. She really is. Great job, cool. Abby. Great job with that double dog stuff. Oh, I, I know, love it. Right? Got to keep it love interesting it. after 11 years, guys. <laughs> So, all right. So we're going to move on. That was awesome, Abby, by the way. Thank you so much for sending that in. Uh, hopefully we can see a live performance from you next week. Yeah. If when not, it's not so hot. Well, it's Florida. I don't think it's going to get any better, but uh, we'd like to see a live performance hot, next time. If it's not hot or it's raining. Yeah. I would rather perform in a monsoon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right, we got some gonna, announcements you, today. What are you show us? What we you got, got some we got some announcements today and we're also going to talk a little bit about a couple of our favorite things uh, which happens to be coffee. 
So I think we should start with that. Like we call the page coffee dogs and curiosity. So we love our coffee. So how do you like your coffee prepared, Abby? Do you make it at home? Do you like to go somewhere else to get it? Um, right. you, you sent me some photos of, of where your dogs like to hang out. Uh, but bef before I show that, I want to hear from you. Well, I'm kind of just, just one of the, you know, here's the thing. I don't need a lot of nice things in my life, but I love Starbucks more than my family, basically. <laughs> Like, I would rather have an iced latte than see most of my family, for the most part. Hey, puppy. Yeah, I, I can now. see your favorite spot uh, from these photos is, is definitely yeah. Starbucks. Yeah, I mean, look, look at these. It's look at these photos. Luckily, luckily, Chris Brandy, here in Tampa, they haven't closed the Starbucks yet. You can still go through the drive through right. So I wear gloves. I go through the drive-thru. I get 16 shots of espresso. What? And then I drink four Isn't shots Isn't that considered day. hoarding? I mean, they should be limiting that to like no. four shots. No, because think about the exposure if I went every day. I love that. So part. instead, I go and get 16 shots. I use four shots a day to make it my ice vent even in a latte. See, I actually even buy the vanilla from Starbucks right here. I buy uh, their vanilla, I have milk and ice, and then I go get 16 shots of espresso every four days, and then I can make myself an ice Let's latte see that. Every Show that up days. again. I had I had you on a small screen. Show that again. What is it? So oh, you're okay. making a Amazing. Starbucks trip every four days. Every four days I go to Starbucks, I wear gloves, and I have sandy wipes that I wipe down <laughs> my cup with. Nice. Well, so, that's smart. Starbucks. It's like, it's gross. It's gross. I, I'm not proud of it, but... They should still sponsor me. <laughs> they definitely should. They should. I mean, especially with all, 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 all these cute them. photos. I mean, I know. Adorable. I mean, I love those. They I should go viral. I think they said they don't do independent. I think there's a video. I might have a video. Let me let me see if I can find a video. I think you sent me in a video, didn't you? I did. I sent you the cutest video of Super Freak running in an uh, apron. Let me see if I, I, I think have you it here. It on the page the well, page. I did post it on the page, though. Okay, but no, no, I have it. I have it. Here we go. You guys want to see it? Let me show you. Here it is. Oh shoot! I removed it from the stream. So I'm still learning this, right? Okay. Here's the here's the video. I want to make it big so you guys can kind of really see it here. Where is it at? I can't play it unless I find the find the screen. Oh, there. No, nope, that's that one. Got too many things. Too many too many windows open. I tell you, you'd be surprised. Um, you thought that you could only not find toilet paper and paper towels and all that kind of stuff right now, but you can't find webcams either. I was trying to find a webcam and I couldn't even find a webcam. I can't find that video now. So we can well, that's because market. everybody has to work from their cameras now. Of course you that's have to it? Find yeah. Everybody's doing exactly what we're doing right now. Well, maybe <laughs> I mean, it could be that. Let me see. It's here somewhere. Oh I'm Go looking ahead. for it. I'm looking for it. it. It was on the screen. Like it's literally right there. But it's not showing up. I don't know. Well, you know what, so, Chris? We could we could post a little it on technical the page. difficulty. I it's mean, on the page you can see it. Yeah, um, if you scroll down on the page, I don't yeah. want to waste too much time on it, but I, I had it there. But uh, yeah, it's super cute. You guys can watch the video after it, it, it's already been shared on the video on the screen anyway. So yeah, okay. on the page of I me. Mean. So yeah, awesome. So yeah, video. yeah you actually like yeah, you didn't ask me, Abby. How do I like my coffee? You're supposed oh, yeah. to set, uh, well, set me up for that, you know. Have... Yeah. You got distracted being bad at using this live video chat. So Well, it, it just it just disappeared, you know? It just I don't know, just gone. All how right, do you like some... your coffee, Chris Brown? Yes, how do you like your coffee? I'm going to show you if I can ah. find it. There it is. I found it. I got this video. You found that one. Abby. Found this one. I found it. Are you guys ready? All right, I'm going to put it up on the screen. Here here of course here you I find am. anything with your face on it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So uh, my daily regimen is French pressing my coffee. This is the best way to do it. Um, in my opinion, you get the best tasting coffee ever. And it's really simple to use. I use the AeroPress to French press my coffee. This is also not too expensive. You can buy it at any Target, um, look for it online. Um, easy product, easy to come with, lightweight. whatever 
whatever amount you want. Typically one level scoop works for me. The next step is to get your water heated up. I like to use Mr. Coffee to heat my water up. Put your water inside the breath. Water. Oh, nice to we had to speed it up because the video was too long, so we sped it up here. You see it okay, Abby? Yeah, I can see it. It's a whole process yeah. getting his coffee ready. There you go. Air press stir and just do a little bit like a foamy, frothy look right there. That's what you want to see right there. Why do you have to stir it? Just to get that foamy, frothy look, and it just gives it a bolder taste. Stirring it gives it a bolder taste? Yep. Is the AeroPress made by Aerobee Frisbees? No, I'll tell you that in a second. Here, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what happened there. There we go. That's how it's done. You like that? You like that last part? You know, that was pretty fancy. So yeah, that was pretty that. fancy. <laughs> so, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, basically, AeroPress and Aerobe were one company. And then when they sold the Aerobe toy line, they kept the AeroPress line and just focused on the coffee side of things. So, they're a separate entity, separate company out here in California. But the toy line is now owned by another company named <laughs> Swimways. And uh, you give they're, your dogs coffee? No, we don't give our dogs coffee. Actually, that is part of the agenda for today, actually, to talk about is it good to give your dogs coffee or not? What do you think, Abby? I mean, I would say no. Yeah, definitely. I mean, no. my dogs are hyper enough. They don't need any more goddamn energy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you definitely shouldn't give your dogs coffee. And we'll, I, will, I got some information on that here in a second. Here's how I do my morning coffee. I train. I just want you to know that coffee. that picture makes it look like you're eating your dog's ear. Like yeah. It looks like you're eating <laughs> your dog. It does. <laughs> Come on now. I, I'm, I'm, I'm whispering like in his ear. I'm giving him confidence. I'm giving him confidence. I'm like, you can do it, buddy. You got this. You're whispering sweet nothings to him? Yes. You want like, your cookie, don't you? You, you want your hip You've never looked better drink. in your entire life. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting it. He's getting it down, though. I'm proud of the guy. He's he's finally starting to to come around. So what else you been up to, Abby? How you been? You know, fine. I'm just training a lot of dogs. I have a lot of dogs, and I've been training them. I don't have grass where I live because I live in Florida, and I think this just used to be underwater. So our whole yard is made of sand. So I can't play Frisbee. They closed all the parks. I did drive over the costume tape at one of the parks with my van the other day and played mm -hmm. some Frisbee. Um but I don't know if you've ever tried to play frisbee with like, like a dog at the beach, but they just end up getting mouthfuls of sand. So it's been a little rough for frisbee. So I've been trying to do a lot of tricks and I've been throwing jolly balls because they seem to get less mouthful of sand if I throw a jolly ball. But I mean, I live in a tiny house, Chris, with 11 dogs. So you're making how it. do you think my life is going? <laughs> You tell well, me. You well, we live in a me. we live in a pretty good. Coffee? We, <laughs> we're, we're, I mean, we live in a pretty good sized house, but we're living with thirteen <laughs> dogs as well. So we do feel your your. We feel it. We feel it. I wouldn't say pain. Nice joy. Our pool. dogs are joy. Don't get her started because she's gonna be like, you have two acres of grass. And <laughs> yeah, you have a nice yard and a pool. <laughs> well, you have access to all that nearby. There's alligators in the water here. <laughs> it's Florida. No pain, no gain. <laughs> I mean, I do want to watch a dog battle an alligator. It's kind of been a dream of mine for a while. So we'll see which dog makes me the maddest. If any uh, of your dogs would battle an alligator, which one would it be? Tiki? Tiki. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Hey, I got an announcement real quick here, and then we're going to get to our curiosity of the day, hey. which we already started. I could do this announcement. Um, we like to announce um, A Dog's Life, a new TV show that's going to be on Disney Plus, uh, hosted by Bill Farmer, starts on May 15th. Um, it's going to air every Friday starting uh, starting May 15th. And uh, we're actually going to be uh, featured on one of the episodes. Um, it'll be episode number 106, which is episode six. And uh, it airs on, as of right now, uh, June 12th, uh, again, on Disney+. Plus. So be sure you guys share, repost about it. Uh, we did make an announcement on the page. Right. But uh, as 
as it goes along, I'll, I'll probably post again about it. But I just kind of want to celebrate this great man. I mean, guys, awesome, amazing career, um, and all the amazing dogs that are on his show. Uh, we've we've heard a lot about it. Can't wait to see it ourselves. But I got a little uh, video to show you guys. Uh, so check it out. This is basically um, their teaser video. Hello, welcome to It's a Dog's Life. You already know that dogs can be our best friends. But did you know that some dogs also have job? It's true. All types of dogs do all kinds. And who am I? I'm Disney legend Bill Farmer. As the voice behind Disney's Goofy and Pluto, and dozens of other animated characters, I'm stepping out from behind the microphone to learn about my favorite real-life characters, dogs. Come with me as I explore how each dog learns to develop its special and unique talents, and how the magical relationship between a dog and human really? makes life better for both. Hmm. So what do you think, Abby? You gonna I tune am in? super excited to watch it. Are you going to tune in? You're gonna you sh you probably gonna be in it too. You were there with us when they filmed that show that we did in Livermore. I remember. Yeah, I was there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, let me get that down. <laughs> I'm sure what that's going on. Um, yeah. So it it started the next video. YouTube likes to make you watch. You know, they want you to watch the next yeah. video. It's so true. yeah, it was super cool being on the show though, um, and and working with them. We actually have a few photos. I was just gonna show you. and a little video too. Actually, this little video, kind of behind the scenes. Uh, they're filming on our on our property um here's um coda jumping through a hoop um, over bill farmer's uh body so and head yeah so that's pretty cool just a short little video there and uh, uh this one's kind of funny too him, him just uh, making sounds at uh, leo here and uh making noises is he making sounds without his mouth moving you know his mouth's moving a little bit. Okay. Yeah, he's making. He's making he's like some weird, like, uh, so anyway, super cool guy, man. What's that? I thought he was like a like a who are those people who have the little puppets? Like I thought he could like make sounds and talk with his mouth while moving. Oh no, he's not a ventriloquist, as far as I know. I mean, he oh, just does voices. He's a voice master. I mean, he can he can do so many voices. I mean, of different char characters. I mean, he's go look at his yeah, uh, credits, man. He's in one heck of a guy. Super talented. Here's me with him out on our property, and oh, is that our new property? Look at all that grass you can play. Yeah, with. <laughs> you like that? That's that's it. Right yeah, that's there. really nice. What's that yeah. like? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I told you you're welcome to come and hang out here if you want. You know, you could have spent your quarantine here, Abby. You could have. You know, get had access to the pool. Is worse than Florida. No, it's not. It's not humid. You don't worry about the humidity. No, as far as infection, I'm not looking. To well, we're not not on our property. There's no infection on our property. <laughs> Until I come there. Yeah, you can't come now because I don't know what you, you what you're carrying. <laughs> Nothing. I'm sweating it all out here in Florida. So, so that's our announcement. That's our announcement of the week. So, all right. So we're almost we're almost done here. Um, I just I, thanks guys for for tuning in on our first. I, I know we don't have a huge viewership, but who knows? Maybe uh, we'll start getting some traction. To share with your friends and family again. We're gonna go live every uh, Sunday and every Thursday. Maybe we'll be a little um, more fun, like throw some dance parties, and we'll get yeah. up and be like, "Woo, yeah!" Well, if you let me swear you more, people will like it better. Yeah, you yeah. think so? Um, so our curiosity of the week. We do get. We have to get to our curiosity though. What's um, what's your favorite kind of coffee? Um, I want to know, um, and I, those that are watching, I want to know what your favorite kind of coffee, what your daily coffee ritual look like. Do you drink coffee? Do you prefer tea? Uh, do you drink it black? Um, or do you have to have cream in it? Um, what age did you first start drinking your coffee? Four. I mean, I mean, did you drink it every day? How many cups do you drink per day? I mean, so I got you? lots of curiosity, yeah. so answer any of those. Did your mom give you a sip of coffee when you were like eight years old? Yeah. You know, and that's when you started drinking it. <laughs> I was nursing coffee. Nurse, as you came out, yeah. as you popped out, like, give me my coffee. Yeah. Get yeah, it. Pretty Get much. it. I need it. Need it now. That's Your coffee first word. Cigarettes is what I was taking out of a bottle. So your first word was copy. Yep. And your second word was cigarette. Yep. Lighter, please. <laughs> I believe it. I totally believe it. <laughs> So anyway, answer some of those questions for me. When did you first drink coffee? But seriously, seriously, I mean, not not like I know you 
weren't nursing it, but like, do you remember your first time drinking coffee? Are you asking me or are you asking oh, the viewers? I'm asking the viewers. I'm asking you, but I'm, the viewers can answer. Oh, I think it's when I worked at a mall kiosk. So how old were you? 19, 17, 18, 19. I, 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 I got you beat. How about you, Susan? When did I start drinking coffee? Yeah. When was your first time drinking coffee? Do you remember? Yeah, I have the worst memory. No, I would not remember, but um, I, I'm sure I was okay. a teenager, early teens for sure. Okay. Yeah, I was in, I was like 12. See, because, really? yeah, because I used to go to church all the time. My dad would take me to church and the only thing that you could drink there was water or coffee. So the water's boring. And water's boring. So I would, I would start drinking coffee at like 10, 11, 12 years old wow. just to get me through, you know, get me through the service when I was a kid, you know, and, um, uh, and, uh, I would, I would put a lot of cream and sugar in it. That way, uh, it would be sweet, you know? So I started drinking coffee at a young, young age, you know? So, but I mean, Crystal I didn't, wine. You I only drank it on Sunday. You were drinking the communion wine. No, it was Sunday. The communion wine. Don't lie to me. <laughs> You were getting yeah. you were getting all sloshy at twelve. No, nah, I was like drinking you. coffee, like, man. Coffee, I promise. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's my curiosity of the week. Um, and and on the last thing, should you give your dog coffee? You kind of asked about it a second ago, and I just do want to make it very clear: no, you should not be giving your dog any coffee. Um, in fact, I I did a little research on it because I wanted to make sure that um that nobody. Oh wait, well, you know we never showed your video. We didn't Did you know that dogs aren't supposed to have carbonation because they can't burp? Or they're not supposed to be able to burp? That makes sense. Well, I we here's don't here's the screen. Any of that, here's so. the screen. Go okay. to pet MD. Okay. Then we then we're gonna show you a quick training tip. We forgot the training tip of the day. Sorry, this is a little combobulated for our first one. But combobulated. That's discombobulated. That's what I meant to say. All right. So caffeine and pets, safety <laughs> tips and considerations, right? Um, obviously you shouldn't be giving it to you to your dogs um it's not safe um, cats and dogs should not ingest any caffeine it says right here should not ingest any caffeine at all um, not a good thing to give them um it can take 30 minutes to an hour to reach peak concentrations in the bloodstream symptoms will depend on the size of the animal so anyway you can go there and read it go to pet md uh, but definitely don't give your dogs coffee okay coffee's for you to enjoy why you love and play with your dogs and train your dogs so anyway just want to make that well, very you clear. Survive this quarantine. Wait a minute. Is That's that not coffee. Do you, are you spiking your coffee? Is that what that means today? We need to do this show probably earlier in the day, right? It's <laughs> five o'clock in Florida. You think I'm drinking coffee right now? That's true. God. You drink coffee all day long. What are you talking about? I, I've seen you. She buys these big Starbucks carafes, puts I, one in the ice lattes. I work like 17 hours a day when I'm home in quarantine by myself on Easter. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I think we should try to do the show maybe like at nine o'clock at night and incorporate the more music, dancing, and alcohol, and we'll probably <laughs> get more viewership. Actually, right? Oh my god! Right? See, All right, hey, you're, you're you're one of the funner drunk people I know. I know. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, we got one more video to show. We want to leave you with the tip of the day, training tip of the day. Sue just did a little video oh. um, yesterday, so I'm gonna pop that on the screen, and then we're gonna close this out and uh, do a little call to action uh, for next week. So enjoy the video. Oh, that's so not the video. Nobody wants yeah. to see that again. No. <laughs> that's not the one. <laughs> oh, we goodness. should really show the outtake too. The outtake. The, the funny, the you know, the blooper. Uh, well, if you it, have guys. it, if you have Hang it, on, we're getting it. There it is. Mm -hmm. It's right here. I don't know. What, I had like screens like up ready to do this, and it just kind of they they just disappeared the computer's not big enough well yeah because i'm using my mac see i was getting to that my webcam i'm trying to get a webcam for my bigger screen pc i have a windows pc that has a huge monitor um i'm using my laptop for this right now today and so it's hard so anyway here we go i'm gonna teach you guys how you can get your dogs jumping through a whoops computer, you can't, but see, I can't it. see it it's a soft tree kodak boy i'm blowing it totally you're, blowing it today you're real sh shit in the bed here p yeah whatever you're making her cuss Okay, here we go. I'm going to teach you guys how you can get your dogs. Can you see it now? Yep. And what you need is a soft treat. Coda likes to use the hip to be square treats because they're soft shoes and they're squares and you can just break them up into little pieces. You'll also need a hula hoop, which you can get at any retail store. So the first thing I like to do is introduce my dog to the hula hoop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the ground. Hula! Grab some the hula hoop! I'm going to have to walk over it. And we're looking for that. Good job. Then I can pick it up 
and I can try to get him to just walk through it like that. Great job, Coda. The next step is to pick it up off the ground, maybe just two or three inches. Good. Coda over here. Sit, stay. Yes. Yes. Once you have that down, then you can pick it up off the ground even a little more, like say a foot or two. Koda. Yes. And you see Koda's already starting to actually jump through it. That's what you want. Good job. Let's see that one more time. Yes. Good job. Now, eventually, you can also fade that hand signal and use a verbal cue instead. In this case, I'm going to use the word poop. How to sit, stay, hoop. Good job, excellent. How to hoop? Yes. How to hoop? That's some sweet slow mo. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you do it. That's how it's done, guys. That's how it's done. Thank you, Sue. Great job on that video. Thank you. Huh? Uh, the uh, cameraman I wasn't bad, he did a pretty good job. Yeah. Teaching is not my thing. I, I I love training dogs. I'm not very good at teaching and explaining myself how I train my dogs. And Chris makes me do it. So. I think she did a good job. That's what you get. I think you did a great job, Sue. Yeah. Thank you. I think she did awesome, man. Yeah. I mean, the only way you get better at anything is to do it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, we, we I mean, should have shown the, uh, the blooper, but you don't have that. Yeah, yet. you didn't send it to me, so we can't show it. But we could always post it later. We could post the blooper later if you guys want to see it. If somebody co comments on the channel that says, I want to see the blooper, we'll post it. Do you love the way I say hula hoop? Hula hoop. I, I struggle a little bit with it. I, you know, it's, it's like a tongue twister for me. Hula yeah. hoop. All right, guys, I'm going to close this out. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for joining us today, Abby. Um, it's going to be fun doing this every week. Um, uh, we'd, like to, we'd like to hear what you guys would like to discuss. Um, obviously, we have some topics in mind, but if you guys got some topics you'd like us to talk about, um, send it our way. Message us on our uh, Facebook page. Any specific dogs um, you would like to see? Yeah, any specific dogs you'd like us to introduce. Um, we'll feature one or two dogs each week is the plan, and um, you'll get a chance to see our dogs perform. You'll see some training tips, and uh, we'll We'll talk about silly things too and just, just basically have some fun. So we but we do want to see for next week. I would love to see um, photos of your dog with coffee cups or you know, some I mean I don't want to not wanna, drinking it, but, drinkin it, but um, you know, like the photos like Abby sent uh, sent us uh, send us some uh, your cute dog photos with, with coffee um, in mind and uh, we'll feature your um, your photos on our channel next week. So uh, send it in and might even have a contest or something. I don't know. We're, we're gonna have some fun with this. So anyway, Ooh, what can they win? I don't know. We'll, we're gonna have to think about that. Let us know what you want to win. That too. Yeah. We can. We can. Uh, Tell him that next time I wax my mustache, I'll send it to him. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks for joining us, Abby. You have a great rest of the day. All right. We'll leave everyone with that one. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye, Bye guys.